Hello, this is Fearless Kitten. Today I'm going to do a tips and tricks video for Dreamlight Valley. I've been playing this for a few days and I absolutely love it. If you have any tips or tricks that I miss, please comment below. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this. Thank you. So my very first tip is in regards to the thorns that spawn when you first start the game and whenever you open a new area or even come in for a new day. Uh, there's a ton of them at the very beginning. What I suggest is picking one of the characters that you have and hanging out with them. And then destroying the thor thorns. Because what it will do is it will give you a boost to your friendship level. And it will just help you level up faster. It's one of the most important things in the game is to talk to your villagers. And to upgrade them so that you can progress further with different characters and with them as well. Another thing is, is the game really does not walk you through anything. Um, it walks you through like how to do the realms and just like the basics at the very beginning. But other than that, it doesn't walk you through everything. So my biggest suggestion is to explore everything and don't be afraid to unlock things early. If you have enough Dreamlight Val, um, Dreamlight, sorry, if you have enough Dreamlight, just unlock it. Um, it's not going to hurt anything and it's better to do that but always make sure you do like the main quest first like it'll it'll say story quest or realm quest or something do those first if you can um i really haven't had any issues with it but i have heard that some people have things locked if they switch quest quests a lot and honestly i've been switching like crazy so i don't know if that's just unique to a certain device or not but it is early access so we do have to deal with that my next tip is in regards to the inventory. So you get these inventory slots, you start out with a certain amount. I would save up to get your first slot early just so it makes it a little bit easier. Um, for me to expand again, it's 50k, so it's going to be a while before I'm able to get up to that. Um, just because I haven't been focusing on making money lately, but that's it. Uh, my next main tip is make sure you check your mailbox frequently. You'll get mail um, in regards to the game or, for example, dream shards. Don't use your dream shards to create uh, dream light. You get enough of that by c completing, you know, all your things. And, and it's, it's honestly very easy to get it. You just look at what you need to collect and just pay attention to that and... It's very easy to get dream light. So I would not use that. Just save those dream shards. You will need them for quests later on. Uh, another quest. Another very good tip that I have is make sure you talk to your villagers every day. Um, they really want to hear from you. And if you talk to them, you do the little icon and you talk to them it'll give you a boost to their friendship level so I mean it's always a good thing plus you can get uh, progress on some of your dreamlight abilities as well you know your progression there so that's always a good thing another big big tip I have is unlock Remy first so when you unlock Remy first you unlock his restaurant once you build it and then you unlock this ability to go here and to make food and if it's a good dish he will tell you if it's a bad dish he'll tell you so right now he doesn't really he thinks that's a good dish so he, right now he's thinking this is a good dish and right now I don't think and now he doesn't I don't think so He'll turn his, like there, he'll turn his head down when he doesn't like it, and he'll raise his head up if he likes it. So, it's, it's good to know what dishes you need to make if you have Remy, because uh, he'll give you insight on what you can make and what you can, and if it's a good recipe or not. Also, um, if you eat your meals, you will get a walking boost, so for example, 
I have a meal here that I made. And I'm gonna it's gonna go over a little bit because I was full. But if you look on this side and you press it up, it says well fed and you increase your movement speed. So it's a good thing to keep meals on hand. Um, so you can increase your movement speed in the game. Another tip I have is to keep chests in your house. Lots of them. It's expensive to upgrade your house. And the best thing is, is to have the chests. They're, they're not very expensive to make. They all have 20 slots. And you can organize your inventory a little bit better. Right now, I've upgraded my house a little bit. And the next upgrade is going to be 75k. So, I mean, that's a lot. And another thing is, is all your items that are in your chests are accessible from any place so it, say you go into scrooges and you go to his crafting table all your items that are in your chests or, or in your house will be able to make anything so you'll be able to do it that way and you don't have to worry about throwing stuff out or, oh, my inventory is full, I'm going to throw this out. No, you might need that, so it's better to keep it and put it in a chest and not need it than need it and not be able to find it. Another big tip I have is make sure you unlock all the wells. It helps you get a lot, around a lot faster and it's just very convenient and they don't cost much to unlock another big tip is with seaweed so seaweed's very important you use it to create fiber which creates rope for a lot of uh, missions that you have or quests that you have so my biggest tip for finding seaweed is normally when you fish you fish at these little spots here well i would just go to the ocean and cast your line and just fish in a random spot not one of the other spots and sometimes you can get seaweed you'll get a fish once in a while you'll either get that fish or you'll get seaweed usually it's not usually like a big difference like this one I got the cod again but I'll show you And if you have your fishing buddy with you, you'll get a bonus. So it's usually not this rare. Usually I have a very easy time getting it, but there it goes. So there's the seaweed. You're going to need a lot of it, so I would suggest just uh, farming that that way. And it's very easy to get it then. Another thing I have is don't really worry about your energy too much. Uh, you can always craft meals to build your energy. You can go to your house and restore it. But you can also collect fruit from around the island. Uh, bananas, coconuts, um, the cocoa beans are good, apples, all that stuff. Blueberries are good um, to rebuild it. Because if you go into it and you look at what you have, it tells you how much energy you'll, you'll build if you eat that so you can eat that and it'll build your energy up faster and that way you can at least keep playing and continue what you're doing until you head back to your house and you can do it or you level up so once you level up you automatically fill your energy bar another big tip i have is utilize this collection so when you're in this collection it tells you so much stuff so one thing it does tell you is if you go over to your character it'll tell you their level how much they have left to progress so like maui he's halfway through it'll tell you what his hangout bonus with is and it also will tell you his favorite items of that day so the good thing about that is you can go through this you can look and see what you have and you can grab a couple things and then go to these separate villagers and give them their favorite things to get their bonuses up. 
Another thing you get to see in here is, uh, like, what the recipe is for crafting things, for example, what you'll need. Uh, also, if you unlock any critters, it'll show them here and where you find these critters at, too, and if they're there that day or if they're not. Also, if you go to, like, say, a fish, a bass, it shows you where to find it, where you'll be able to fish to be able to find that fish and how much it sells for and how much energy it is if you eat it. So it's a good thing to use to show you exactly what, where to find things and if you just need a little bit of help. It'll also, it won't tell you like when you don't know the recipe, it won't tell you how to make it, but if you know the recipe, it will tell you how to make it. So. Just experiment with that, at least. If you do feed your critters uh, twice, so for example, squirrels, they like peanuts. If you do feed them twice, you get them as your buddy. So you get to have them as your companion. They have to be fed their favorite food twice. And there's different ways to get them fed. Um, the squirrels, you just really walk right up to them. The bunnies, they'll hop three times, and then you have to run after them three times and then give them their carrots. Um, like, there's a turtle here. I don't know what his favorite is yet, but he doesn't really want me to feed him, so. I don't know that, but if you go here to the wardrobe and you go to the companions, you can pick any of the companions you unlocked, and you can run around with them. They can be your buddy. So, I suggest that. That's a, a good thing to do. Um, also, a good thing that they've done here with this game is you can rearrange the map however you want. So, you can move trees, you can move flowers, you know, all that stuff. The only thing is, is you can't move, like, the rocks that you need to mine and stuff. But you can just go mine those. But you can move anything in the game around however you want it to be. So if you want someone's house to be someplace else, then you move it that way, and then that'll work for you. Okay, and then another one I have is when you upgrade, you will upgrade your pool tools as you progress. So for example, when you get Maui, um, it, he'll have a quest and he'll be able to upgrade your pickaxe to be able to break these rocks. So it just makes it so that you can collect more things and to do things like for the mushrooms you need to upgrade the watering can with Merlin. And then for the uh, shovel you will upgrade it with Anna once you, once you unlock her. Also, just make sure you're checking your challenges for Dreamlight. Uh, just not necessarily if you completed them, but just to see where you are on them. To see if you can get some more Dreamlight, a boost on your Dreamlight so that you can make more so you can unlock new things. Also, one of my biggest tips is to make sure you're farming a lot, gardening a lot. Um, my biggest thing that I love to f farm with and to have is these tomatoes. If I have the tomatoes, then I can get three tomatoes per one, and then I can go and sell them, and I get a decent amount of money. So if you go to the ingredients here, each item will tell you how much you get for harvest, and then it'll tell you how long it grows, where it's at, and how much it sells for so yeah the tomatoes I have they're not exactly the best but you get those early and it only takes them 25 minutes to go grow you get three tomatoes and you sell them for 22 and you usually get a lot of money for them and you also have your your bonus with whatever character you have that has the gardening bonus so you'll get extra of that and it's a very good way to make money is just to make sure you're gardening uh, also use the map to find people very easily so you can see Anna's here, 
Moana's here. But also you can see like different areas like where you put people's houses, um, where some of the fruit is. And then also you can see what your garden looks like. So you can see if they're fully grown and they're ready to harvest or not. Um, I don't think I have anything. Yeah, right here. So these need watered. And so they're not growing because they're not watered. So it'll tell you what you need to do. And also just where everything is. And you can do like a, a beacon. Like you can do this. Highlight it. And then it'll give you this little beacon and walk you right to it. So you don't have to like be confused on which way you go or anything like that. Uh, once you hit level 2 with each of your characters, you can pick one of the things to add to them. So, when I first played my first go around, I didn't pay attention to that, so I didn't know that you selected that right off the bat. And so each of them you can have mining, foraging, um, gardening, fishing, and digging. So it's recommended that you have each different villager as something different. Um, I was kind of weird and I tried to choose what I thought that they would like. Like Moana, I did fishing and things like that just to kind of remember who had what. Besides looking at your collection and your characters and you can see what you picked for them. Mining, gardening, you know, all that stuff. Whenever you do plan on harvesting anything or doing something, make sure you just take your friends along. You'll get bonuses for doing whatever you're doing. So if you're going to go and you're going to pick up things or forage things or you're going to mine, make sure you have someone with you. Um, do one thing at a time and then switch your character so you can always get that bonus and get extra things. Because you can always sell the gems for money and it just helps out a lot. Also, these rocks, you'll in some of the other areas like up here you'll get some iron from them and iron is one of the rarest things that I found in the game you need a lot of it and I've honestly struggled to find it so every time I'm here every time I'm around here I don't have someone with me right now but that's okay but every time I'm here I go around and I pick up the iron I try to get as much as I can because some of the quests you need a ton of it so I just uh, try to remember to do that all of them. Uh, make sure you do Scrooge's quest line. What that does is it'll unlock the upgrades for your house pretty early. So you'll be able to upgrade your house uh, so it doesn't it doesn't look bad, but at the beginning, yeah. <laughs> it kind of looks dilapidated, but uh, so you just go over here you'll be able to upgrade it you'll upgrade the storage in here but also in here there's a little elevator that he puts in here that makes it so that you can expand your house so you can add rooms like for however much you can name the rooms and then once you upgrade even more you can have another floor and everything so your house can be pretty big if you choose to make it that way Also, when you garden, you get a boost for planting your items in a certain area. So, for example, right here where we're at, you don't really get a boost for adding anything. But if you go down to the meadow and you pay attention to the stalls, to um, Goofy's stalls, whatever the crops that he sells, they grow the best here. So, there'll be a little... Let me show you. Let me buy... A, something from him so I bought it and now I'm gonna dig a little hole and if you look you see how there's a little triangle here but on the bell pepper there isn't that just means it grows faster here so it's better to put them in the correct spots so like I said I just use goofy stall and I unlock his stalls first and then upgrade them and then upgrade uh, Remy's restaurant and then upgrade um, Scrooge's place. It's, it's very important to keep upgrading things.
also just um just pay attention to what you have that sells for a lot of money like for example, the bream, it sells for 600 I mean, some of the other fish sell for more, but those are very popular. I get those a lot. So I would just pay attention and use those to sell. I wouldn't really sell necessarily like the stone and those things because you're going to need a lot of those. And make sure you don't sell night shards or dream shards. I don't think they let you uh, sell those anyways, but if they do, just, just make sure you don't. And... I know my biggest tip is just to enjoy the game. Just do what you want to do. Investigate. Uh, look around. Collect. Everything like that. And, and I don't know. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I was playing the one day and Donald Duck was having a temper tantrum because he was my buddy. I was hanging out with him and I switched to someone else. And he got mad and it just made me laugh. Because it's just... They thought of that in a game like this and... I think it's always a good thing uh, to have things like that in the game. Morning. So I do uh, hope that you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe if you did enjoy it. Thank you for watching.